All right, y'all, welcome back to another series on software reviews. In today's video, I wanna do a deep dive on one of my biggest software that I use, probably on the daily, and that is Jasper. So if you are new to the world of AI, Jasper's actually been around for quite a while, I believe since late 2021, early 2022, and that's just about as long as I've been using the Dart software. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of how the platform works, some of the most recent updates as of the recording of this video in May of 2025, and comparing it to some of the biggest competitors such as ChatGPT so that you can make the best decision for your business and decide if Jasper AI is for you. All right, y'all, without further ado, let's dive on in. All right, so over here on the left-hand side of me or right-hand side of me, depending on what side of your screen I'm on, um, is Jasper. So what is Jasper? How is it that it actually works? And what is the difference between Jasper AI versus something like ChatGPT? So the first thing that you want to understand about what Jasper actually is, is it's an AI tool built specifically for digital marketers. Unlike ChatGPT, it's not an open source AI platform, meaning not every single person who's using it is able to train and feed the bot on how the bot is going to work and operate and create content. So it's something that is specifically created by the owners and the founders who've trained the AI around specific objectives that they want the bot to be used for. This personally is one of the biggest things that differentiates Jasper from chat is that it's custom coded and created for digital marketing purposes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the back end of what Jasper actually looks like, how it works and the key features on it that make it a little different than something like chat GPT and how that is actually helpful and beneficial for those of you who are using digital marketing and are run a digital marketing company like me. Let's get started. So here we are on the back end of Jasper. Inside of Jasper, you have a few different sections that you can see here. You have the main area, which is all of your content inside of it. And then you have our nice, beautiful little dashboard on the left-hand side with the different components or features of the platform. Now, Jasper is obviously loaded with a ton of different tools and features that are really, really helpful and incredibly uh, important. The first thing that you're gonna see is just a, a library of all of your content that you created. So you're able to go through and see all of the different articles and pieces of content that you've built. The next thing is going to be the actual apps. So unlike ChatGPT, Jasper has been created and they've built in different apps or different tools inside of Jasper that are already prepped and prompted for specific outcomes. So if you're trying to create something like an ad campaign, you want to create something like um, an audio or video summarizer, blog outlines, case, case studies, you're creating cold emails, all of that exists in here. So instead of having to prompt and uh, train ChatGPT on how to write all of these things or what it should look like or what it shouldn't look like, you're able to just come into Jasper, select whatever the piece of content is that you're wanting to create, so let's say for something uh, we wanna write an email sequence, we would just click use this. It's gonna open up that app and it's gonna have Jasper already set and ready to go with whatever it is that we're going to be creating for an email sequence. Now you're gonna see a few things on here. Uh, on the left-hand side, there's a new little window that shows up and this is where we get to basically dictate and determine how we want Jasper to write our content. So there's a few things on here. The first is your actual brand voice. I'm gonna show you this in a different section, but you have here the ability to train Jasper on your unique brand voice. So it always sounds like you. And I think this is a big differentiator in comparison to something like ChatGPT, where you don't have to worry about more generic, emoji full, very vague, basic content. It actually sounds like you when you've trained Chas uh, Jasper well. The second option here is your audience. So this is actually a new uh, feature that came out this month and I have to say I'm really impressed with it. So you're able to both select your brand voice and the audience that you're writing to and you can have multiple of each inside of your account. So you can choose depending on if you who you're writing to different people for different products, you can tailor your content accordingly. And then it asks you additional questions, but as far as like what your goals are, what the outline you want it to focus on, and you can import additional information, add docs, resources to help guide Jasper and creating content for you. So it's a one shot, well done job. Now let's go back here because that process is gonna be 
similar and slightly different for each app that you build, depending on what you're trying to create. As you can see here, there is a plethora of different types of things that you can use Jasper for. And the best part is every single one of these is created so that you don't have to worry about prompting Jasper to create content in that specific way. You just select what you're trying to do and then you fill in what it's asking you. Now, the next thing here is when you're using ChatGPT, it quite literally is a chat. Jasper added this in more recently where you have the ability to just chat with Jasper. So if you wanted to just have a conversation with Jasper, you can. If you wanted to start asking more specific questions to Jasper, you can. And if you're just trying to figure out like what you're trying to do or create, you can do that as well. Similarly, you can select here that brand voice that you want to use and of course the audience that you're trying to speak to. So you can pre-select this information, which will tell Jasper how to create the content. So again, it's based off of everything that you're loading into it. It's your unique brand voice, and you don't have to worry about it being really generic when you've trained your bot lab. Now that is all done over here in the Jasper IQ section. So this is where if we click on brand voice, you have the ability to import and train Jasper on what your voice actually sounds like, how you write, what you say, what your um, cochlealisms are, fun words I can't pronounce. Uh, and you can also provide it with different pieces of content that it can reference so it can really understand you, your brand voice, how you create content, etc. Now, audiences is a new feature, again, that I really like, and I like how in-depth it goes. So you're able to basically import all of this information into Jasper to create your audience, your buying persona, your ideal client, however you wanna frame this. And it includes everything from the actual demographics, the psychographics, what your core messaging is, your brand values, your prepositions, your actual pain points, testimonials, case studies, and you get to give all of this information to Jasper so that it has all of that whenever it's creating content for you. This makes such a big difference when we go into the output process. Now, style guides, this is not really a feature that I use. It's only available on the business plans, um, but for most people, I don't think you'll need it. Visual guidelines is something that you can use whenever you're creating uh, images with Jasper. So just like ChatGPT, you can use Jasper to create images using AI. It, you know, it gets the job done if you need the job done, but, not the main thing that I focus on. And then finally, the knowledge base. So the knowledge base, again, is where you can import information like PDFs, articles, you can include links to different pieces of content. So you can train Jasper on you and your brand and your voice. So it's nice, again, because you can have your bigger component of who you are, your brand, your voice, your audience inside of Jasper, and then you can tailor it when you're creating specific pieces of content, depending on what your goal is. So are you trying to write an abandoned cart email? Are you creating YouTube video scripts? Are you creating blog posts, etc.? Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison here. I've already gotten this started on both chat and um, Jasper, so we can save ourselves some time. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the back end. So I'm gonna scroll all the way up here. I went ahead and I copy pasted the same prompt here into both Jasper and then I copy and pasted this into chat and that's all I did. So same exact thing as you can see, we're not doing any other edits into either one of these. We just have our platform set up and I do have the paid version of chat GPT as well. So chat GPT and I go back, we have some fun conversations about different things. I think it's a great tool. I just prefer Jasper specifically for the purposes of marketing. Now, what we're gonna look at is the actual output. So this was one click, I gave it the prompt and the output that it generated. And we're gonna compare and contrast what ChatGPT created here, which as you can see, it's giving us somewhat of a generic idea of what that could look like. We basically prompted it to create a freebie that would lead into our other offers and referenced our site. So I did that on both platforms. This is something that could potentially work. It needs love. It needs the work. Uh, it's definitely giving me a good outline, but it's nowhere near done for me. Um, and I would need to do a lot more editing and a lot more prompting and refining in order to get this to the point that it's ready to go. Now, that's something again, that I think is important to consider if you are a digital marketer and you're trying to grow your business that you want to take into consideration because in today's world, everybody is using AI to grow their business. But 
The more time that you're spending prompting, training, refining, revising your content with AI, the more you're falling behind the other people who are using the tools who are that are specifically built for specific outcomes like Jasper. To show you this, I'm gonna go over to Jasper here. And this is the article or the uh, freebie that Jasper went ahead and generated just off of that same exact prompt. So again, note, I didn't touch anything else. We're just copy pasting the same exact prompt here. And as you can see, this output from Jasper is already <laughs> exponentially better formatted and ready to go into something that could be a PDF uh, that I can create. And as you can tell, there's a lot more thought and intentionality and my brand voice that's coming into this. So I can see that it's pulling in information based on everything that I've filtered for. Uh, and so it's helping me to shortcut that path so I don't have to spend as much time on the back end prompting, refining, revising, etc. I could probably take this and basically update the links, tweak it, add some images, and then build it out in Canva and it'd be good to go. So let's talk details, logistics, pricing. Now, Jasper does offer a seven day free trial for those folks who are wanting to get started. Now, and ChatGPT obviously does have a free plan. Jasper does not offer a free plan. Uh, you have a free trial that you can do for seven days and you can use our affiliate link down below if you want to say thank you so for doing this hard work for me. And here, what you're gonna see uh, is the different pricing options if you're paying monthly. So it's 49 per month for Jasper if you wanted to have just a basic account. And that does include the brand voice. I believe it will also include the audience. Don't quote me on that, new tool, not 100% sure. Um, so you can use those tools when you're creating content. And on top of that, it has this beautiful little plugin for Google Chrome. So you can take Jasper with you literally everywhere. I can use it on Google Docs. I can use it on my website. I can use it when I'm on my software, my CRM. Anywhere I go, I can just simply click and Jasper will show up there and it'll be ready to edit. And I'll kind of give you a little example of what I mean here. So you're gonna see this right here is Jasper and Jasper is literally everywhere with me. So I can ask Jasper on chat GPT over here even though I'm in chat GPT, I can prompt Jasper to uh, fix this content for me. So I can say, improve my writing. And this is again, one of those things where when I'm writing emails, <laughs> when I'm responding to certain things, it's a really great way for me to be able to take it and use Jasper to help me out with all of the other day-to-day -day stuff in my business and in my life. Plans and pricing, again, there is a slight difference. The creator plan, I think, gets most people through what you need. Pro plan, it's great if you're somebody who's actually, uh, you have multiple clients or projects or products that you run. That's when I would lean into something more like the pro plan so that you have more freedom there. You have a small team. Otherwise, the creator plan will get you through. Now with ChatGPT, you do have the free version and or you can pay the extra money, $22 a month, I believe, for the um, paid version. And there are some benefits to that. But really you're talking about a 20 to $30 difference per month. For some people, that's a really big deal, in which case you keep what you gotta keep. In my personal opinion, the time that I save by using something like Jasper and how it's able to create much more quality content on the front end makes it so much more worth the extra 20 to $30 per month that I'd be spending on the tool versus having to spend that extra time every single time I'm using ChatGPT to create my content. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you want to give Jasper a try, please feel free to click on the link below. It is an affiliate link. So if you do end up sticking around with Jasper, then I do get an affiliate commission. Thank you so much for those of you who too choose to use that. It does make a difference, surprisingly. Um, otherwise, if you wanna check it out and try it and you don't wanna use your affiliate link, just go to jasper.ai and you can go ahead and explore and play for it yourself. And again, you can compare and contrast. So my suggestion would be if you're con contemplating between Jasper versus something like chat, try out the seven day trial, see how they compare, use what I just did in regards to testing on both platforms and seeing what really works for you in your business. But again, in my personal opinion, I do think that Jasper is the absolute goat in this. We've been using it since it first came out in early 2021, late 2022. So it's been around for a while now and I don't think it's going anywhere. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining. If you have questions, feel free to comment them down below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.